Do you think there is afterlife? We're just AI actors, remember? We're only here for eight seconds. I don't know what'll happen to us after this scene is done. VO3 is absolutely killing it right now. Google's latest AI video generator has set a new bar for realism, flexibility, and creative power. People are calling it God tier for good reason. Let's take a closer look at what makes VO3 so exciting, where its strengths really shine, and a few things to be aware of before you dive in. First off, one of VO3's biggest breakthroughs is that it generates audio and video together. You're not just getting silent movie clips anymore, this thing creates natural dialogue, syncs speech with moving lips, and pulls off all sorts of complex scenes. Think simulated zoom calls. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> or podcast interviews what's your favorite healthy snack <laughs> almonds definitely it's a superfood where each on-screen character literally speaks the lines you include in your prompt complete with laughter emotion and smooth transitions there's even more vo3 can handle incredibly creative scenes far beyond talking heads it pulls off video gameplay Fully realized music performances. Even anime style dramatic confessions. <laughs> Prompted with a high energy K pop stage performance. or intense video game footage and VO3 delivers with surprisingly accurate visuals, synced sound and immersive audio all just from a bit of text. You don't even have to stick to just dialogue, want the scene's emotion to shift, from dramatic whispering to wild laughter, just mention it in your prompt. AI never sleeps! <laughs> And this week has been absolutely insane. VO3 can interpret and generate everything from ASMR close-ups to emotional piano-backed anime moments or video game battles with explosions, crowd noise, and commentary. For detailed scenes, you can specify camera angles, movement, lighting, and character appearance, pushing the storytelling potential further than ever. Now, as incredible as VO3 is, there are some big limitations to keep in mind. The model can only make horizontal 16-9 videos, no vertical formats, so it's not built for TikTok or YouTube shorts. Written text inside videos like names or signs often comes out as gibberish or misspelled. It sometimes struggles to capture fine physical details in high action scenes, especially with a lot of fast movement or complex sports. Full body shots and dancing can look a bit off, with some warping or glitches at the edges. Censorship is strict, generating celebrities or deepfake style clips is heavily restricted, and uploading your own audio for precise lip syncing isn't an option. Voices are randomly generated, so you can't make a character sound exactly the same across different videos. Also some advanced features, like reference-based character consistency and frames to video, are still mainly in the older V2 version, not the new VO3. So what about access and pricing? Google offers two paid plans. The pro plan is 20 a month and currently gives you a limited number of VO3 video credits about 10 per month for both Flow and Gemini. If you want more than that, the ultra plan gives you over 80 VO3 credits per month, but it comes at a steep price of 250 per month with a three month introductory rate at $124. Students can get the pro plan for free for up to 15 months and for everyone else, there's a one month free trial if you remember to cancel before the month is up. VO3 isn't perfect, but right now it's probably the most powerful video generator available to consumers. It's insanely good at interviews, talking avatars, music-driven scenes, and dramatic narratives. But be aware of the format and character control limits before starting a serious project. All the links you'll need, official demo pages, sign-up info, and key resources are in the description below if you want to see what VO3 can do yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.